Wolf then allegedly grabbed the woman's three-year-old daughter and forced her underwater. The apartment resident, Emma Aziz, said that she was at the pool that day. Quote, she was like, help me. She's killing my baby. She's killing my baby. End quote, Aziz recalled. Aziz said she called for a man to help save the girl while another person called 911. Quote, it was crazy. You know, I was shaking. My son was there. Everybody was like really, really terrified, end quote. The mother was able to grab the girl who was yelling for help and coughing up water. Both children were later medically cleared by paramedics. The mother of the child, the children, says during the incident, Wolf made comments about her speaking another language, not being American, and other racial statements. So here you have the evangelical Zionist ultra white wing sentiments coming out, which is pushed and pursued by our elected officials. This isn't just pushed by people on the right like, like Donald Trump. It's also on the center right by people like Joe Biden and the Democrats. And I say center right because the Democratic Party and liberals is a center right ideology. And these people, the Democrats and Republicans, push this anti-Islamic, anti-Arab type of sentiments. Anybody that has a, a modicum of melanin in their skin is seen as dangerous in this country. Trust me, I know. So... This is a story that I saw out of Texas that when I saw this, I was it is no wonder why so many people who are Muslim and Arab have fear in this country. I know there's a lot of people who talk about there's a lot of Zionists will say, oh, my God, I'm so scared. Because all these people are saying from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. And it's like, freedom is considered dangerous to you? Okay. Um, but when you start to think about what happened to Muslims since October 7th, so you have a six-year-old boy that was stabbed 26 times to death in Chicago. Then you had three young Palestinian college students who were shot at, one of them is paralyzed for the rest of his life because he's Palestinian. And then now this story because of a, a little three-year-old girl was nearly drowned to death because she was Palestinian. Let's get into this story. You, you gotta see it to believe it. This woman in Texas tried to drown this little baby. Let's go. Today, Muslim community leaders and state lawmakers gathered in North Texas, calling for harsher penalties after an alleged racist attack. I'm shocked and appalled by this alleged racist, Islamophobic occurrence. Eula's police say it happened on May 19th at this apartment pool off Highway 360. Investigators say a Muslim woman wearing a headscarf was at the pool with her two young children when 42-year-old Elizabeth Wolf entered the pool area. Police say Wolf was very intoxicated and began asking the mother where she was from and if the two children were hers. Then Wolf jumped in the pool and started trying to force the heads of the two children under the water. According to the mother, the six-year-old son was able to escape, but her petite three-year-old daughter was unable. Investigators say bystanders were able to pull Wolf away from the children, who both survived. And that while Wolf was being arrested, she allegedly made statements about the Muslim family not being Americans. The attacker reportedly chatted to a bystander woman who was calming the mother down. Tell her, quote unquote, tell her I will kill her and I will kill her whole family. Activists say that this is Zionism. Make no mistake about it. This is the influence that Zionism has had on our country. Now, I said Zionism, I did not say Judaism. 
because Zionism and Judaism are two completely different things. Judaism is a religion, and that religion largely is about acceptance, peace, tolerance, what have you, right? Zionism, which is the second, is a political ideology built on settler colonialism and land theft. It is a supremacist ideology. They are not one and the same. You have Christian Zionists out there as well. Joe Biden being one of the foremost of them. He is not Jewish at all. So therefore, Zionism and Judaism are two completely different things. Zionism has had a massive influence on this country and has pushed Islamophobia and this disdain and aversion and fear of Arabs in our country for quite some time now. Even to the point where a child, a three-year-old, a toddler is regarded as evil and dangerous just because of their ethnicity. And this is why organizations, political organizations like IPAC and J Street, let's call it all out. This is why they are dangerous because they continuously influence our governments in order to, pers to push the power of a foreign state to have control over our politicians. And I think this is why we need to rein this in because no foreign state should have this much power in our governments. And here you have the life of a toddler almost, almost completely snuffed out because a deranged monster was influenced by Zionists that have run roughshod in the halls of our legislator. Let's continue. Activists say the children have been left traumatized after the incident and that this alleged attack comes amid a rise in anti-Islamic hate. The Council on American Islamic Relations says nationwide, the number of complaints of anti-Islamic discrimination they received in the last three months of 2023 was more than double the total for that time period in 2022. Behind these numbers are human tragedies and children appear to be the prime targets. Wolf has been charged with attempted capital murder and injury to a child. NBC5 reached out to her for a response to the charges, but Wolf hasn't answered. Activists are now pushing for this case to be handled as a hate crime, saying prosecutors need to send a message that alleged attacks like this one won't go unpunished. Hate against one community is hate against all of us. And we can't sit around and let crimes like these become the norm in our great state of Texas. Keenan Willard, NBC5. So that is what has been happening uh, in Euless, Texas. This woman is, to me, no different than the IOF, no different than an IDF soldier that is committing uh, mass murder in Gaza. We just have one of these monsters among us instead. So let's take a look deeper at this article so that we can get the deeper details. It says Euless woman allegedly made racist statements before attempting to drown the three year old police say. So let's get into this. It says Wolf was initially placed under arrest for public intoxication. It says police took talk to the 32 year old mother of the girl who said Wolf came to her and began asking where she came from and if the two children playing in the pool were hers. When she said yes, Wolf allegedly grabbed the woman's six-year-old son and pulled him away from her. He was scratched on the finger during the incident. While the mother was helping her son, Wolf then allegedly grabbed the woman's three-year-old daughter and forced her underwater. The apartment resident, Emma Aziz, said that she was at the pool that day. Quote, she was like, help me. She's killing my baby. She's killing my baby. End quote. Aziz recalled. Aziz said she's called for a man to help save the girl 
while another person called 911. Quote, it was crazy. You know, I was shaking. My son was there. Everybody was like really, really terrified, end quote. The mother was able to grab the girl who was yelling for help and coughing up water. Both children were later medically cleared by paramedics. The mother of the child, the children says, during the incident, Wolf made comments about her speaking another language, not being American, and other racial statements. So here you have the evangelical Zionist ultra white wing sentiments coming out, which is pushed and pursued by our elected officials. This isn't just pushed by people on the right like, like Donald Trump. It's also on the center right by people like Joe Biden and the Democrats. And I say center right because the Democratic Party and liberals is a center right ideology. And these people, the Democrats and Republicans, push this anti-Islamic, anti-Arab type of sentiments. Anybody that has a, a modicum of melanin in their skin is seen as dangerous in this country. Trust me, I know. So therefore, this is what happens. This happens to not just kids who are Arab, it happens to our children too. Might I remind you of what happened to Tamir Rice years ago? Tamir Rice would be an adult by now, living his life, but his life was snuffed out because they saw a black man out there playing with a toy gun. This is why I, if I had a child, I would never give my child a toy gun because they will be confused for a man and then taken out by police. And so this not only happens to Arabs, it also happens to those of us who are black too. But we're constantly being seen as threats to a society because of white supremacy and Zionism and xenophobia within this country. And I cannot tell you how many times I have heard Zionists in 4K saying the N-word to black people who advocate against genocide in this country. And Zionists will always revert back to racism and white supremacy when it is convenient for them. When they don't see us tap dancing for them. So therefore, if they see somebody who has a little bit more melanin in their skin, especially if they got the kafia or any type of uh, head wrap or scarf that notes that they may be Muslim, they're seen as a threat. When in reality, we just want to live in peace. Let's continue. Care says the mother of the children was wearing a hijab at the time of the incident. Quote, the police were called and they were talking, they were taking her away. She told her that she was going to kill her and her entire family, end quote. That was from Mustafa Carroll. Care, Texas executive director. At the news conference on Saturday, Carol read a statement released from the family. Here's what the family said. Quote, we are American citizens originally from Palestine, and I don't know where to go to feel safe with my kids. My country is facing a war and we are faced that hate here. My daughter is traumatized. Whenever I open the apartment door, she runs away and hides telling me that she is afraid the lady will come and immerse her head in the water again. I want to stop here and humanize this family. They are traumatized for the rest of their life. These little girl will be traumatized for the rest of her life because of this monster who decided to try to drown her all because of her ethnicity, all because she was Palestinian. Do you see why we speak against Zionism? 
do you see why we speak against this xenophobic regard that people have against anybody that is a few shades lighter than these walls? I'm not, sorry, a few shades darker than these walls. They are American citizens. Where's the unity? Where's the solidarity? Why isn't this as big of a story as it should be? It should be a big story. This should be sparking outrage. And yet, nothing. Where is, where is the Robert Crafts and where is, uh, where is the Michael Rappaports calling this out and saying, no, 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 we can't have this. Where's Joe Biden in this saying, this is not who we are. Where are these Zionists who? spew this nonsense constantly who say that oh we're the, the idf's the most moral army in the world why aren't they calling this out was that little girl hamas why aren't you calling that out oh i'm sorry <laughs> because what if that little girl had been born in Palestine and was still living there now. She probably will be dead. So if you don't care about if she had been born in Palestine, then you wouldn't care about her being born in Texas. You don't care. Zionists don't care. Because anybody that's Palestinian, they want them anywhere in the world. Because ultimately, Zionism is a supremacist ideology. Let's finish up. Carol says, an incident like this impacts the entire Islamic community. Quote, it's like opening a scab on a womb. It hurts every time it happens, end quote. Aziz also is an immigrant who came from the U.S. from West Africa. I was giving my statement to the officer. I was weeping because it just dawned on me. This could have happened to my child, end quote. For that reason, she plans to be there for this mother. So... Wolf is being charged with attempted capital murder to an injury to a child. Uh, Kara wants the state and federal authorities to investigate that this incident was a potential hate crime. It is definitely a hate crime. Fox 4 asked uh, U.S. police about the potential for hate crime charges. Uh, they, the DA's office says it is believed to be an offense that was committed because of bias or prejudice. And that is part of the case that has been filed with the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office. So that's basically what happened here. But make no mistake, this is one of the reasons why a lot of us are protesting and calling out the genocide, really the mass murder that it is. This is why we have to continuously call this out. This is an extermination of a people and now some of those people who live here in the United States, you have other people, monsters that are trying to exterminate them here. And this is why we need to keep speaking out. This is why we need to keep moving hearts and keep pushing hearts to be open to a people that may be slightly different than them. When in reality, we're all really the same when you get right down to it. But we need to keep pushing against this uh, this 
genocidal ideology that continues to look at other people who are different than them and hate them based on them wanting liberation. It is not right. And so uh, just, you know, keep your eyes peeled for people who uh, may have this type of intent. Uh, if you see somebody harassing someone who may be Muslim or Arab, please make sure to speak up safely, especially those of us who have more of a privilege, like those of us who are cis, cis men, uh, speak up. If somebody's getting in the face of somebody because they're Muslim or maybe wearing a hijab or something like that, you know, make sure to be as protective of them as you possibly can. If you are a woman and you see a child that may be, you know, uh, that may be, you know, Arab or Muslim, make sure to speak up for them. Especially if you're white, use your white privilege. Be a Karen for the good cause. Use your Karen powers to advocate for people who are disenfranchised. Especially if you're a white person. But we all got to come together. You know, and it's not just towards people who are Arab. It's anybody who's marginalized. Because if somebody didn't step in when that baby was being drowned, this story would have been a lot more worse. Thank you so very much for watching my channel. And I deeply appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. If you wish to support the channel further so I can keep bringing you content that is educational and informative, you can become a patron on patreon.com forward slash jbfond. You can find that link in the pinned comment or in the description below. No matter what you give, you'll be supporting independent media and education that helps make the world better. Thank you so much. And you can watch more of my content here. Mwah. More head kisses and have a beautiful day.